scales and measuring tapes are scary, scary things. Out of the two, scales are more terrifying. Measuring tapes can actually be your friend. Now, scales, I don't mess, or I don't mess with those. I haven't owned a scale in years and years and years, at least 10 years. I won't get on one. Why? Because it, it's, it's too much of a, of a mind freak, number one, and two, it often lies. Like, if you're always going off what's on the scale, then our self-esteem goes in the toilet, and it's just the numbers, they tend to lie. Now, a measuring tape and having your measurements, now that's important. Inches matter, and knowing your measurements is going to help determine your body type. And that's really all I care about. I don't care how much you weigh, I don't care, you know, if you lost two inches since you've been doing Pilates, I really don't care. But I do need to know your measurements if we're going to properly dress your body. Why? It's going to determine your body type. And knowing your body type is what is going to make dressing and looking amazing happen. I need to know if you carry your weight in your middle. If you carry your weight up top in your chest, maybe you carry it down below in your butt and in your hips. Maybe you've got the perfect hourglass figure. Heck, maybe you don't have curves at all. Now, if we don't know that, then we don't know which clothing you need to be wearing. So, we need to bust out the old measuring tape, my friends. Let's find out once and for all what body type you've got so we can dress it accordingly. Another little something about body types, they always remain the same. Yeah. So no matter if you gain weight or lose weight, you're still gonna have the same body type. My body type, I have the proportional hourglass figure. Now, I can have that same figure at a size two and that same body type, that same figure at a size six or 10 or 12 or zero. It's constant and that's great news because you're always gonna know the types of garments and things that you should be wearing to make you look awesome, right? Great news. So, let's bust out that measuring tape, shall we? Let's learn how to take measurements properly and how to take them on yourself. Out with the measuring tape, okay? Now remember, this is not about lowering your self-esteem about what's on the number, it really doesn't matter. This is just so we can make ourselves look awesome. So do not let that number get you down, okay? So to determine your body type, you're gonna need three measurements. You're gonna need your bust, you're gonna need your waist, and you're gonna need your hips. Quite simple. Then you can decide which of the five body types you are. Are you proportionate? That means your bust and your hips are equal and your waist is smaller. Do you have no curves? Your bust, waist, and hips are practically the same number. Are you bigger on the top? That means the measurement up top is larger than the waist and the hip measurement. Are you bigger on the bottom? Can you guess what that means? It means your hip measurement is larger than your waist and your bust. Or are you bigger in the middle? The measurement of your waist is the largest of the three measurements. So once we know these numbers, then we know the answers. It doesn't matter what the numbers are, okay? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so to do this, we need to get those three measurements. So I'm gonna show you on her, and then I'm gonna show you on myself. So, if we are taking the bust measurement, I'm gonna tilt my home girl to the side here. I've had her since college in my fashion, uh, my fashion school days. And you wanna take the measuring tape across the back, okay? Now you really wanna look because you don't want to be too low and go like this, because then it's not accurate. You don't wanna be too high and go like this not accurate. You want it to be right in the middle so we clearly go across the bust. Come on now, homegirl. She doesn't have any clothes to, uh, to make this stay. All right, so let me tilt it around here. So see, 
Let's pretend that she actually had nipples. <laughs> she doesn't, she's a dress form. But that's where you wanna go across. And you don't wanna take the measurements so they're super tight. See how I'm like pulling this here? That would be for like some fitness measurements if we had something to prove that we lost a bunch of inches. We want to keep this a little bit loose because we're wearing clothes. We're not wearing like a second skin. We're wearing clothes. So a little bit loose. So she is about a 36 on the old uh, bust here, okay? So if you're taking it on yourself, let's do that. Oops, making a bunch of noise here. We wanna take it across the back. See, I'm getting it right here. Take it across the bust. Make sure the measuring tape is flipped the right way. Okay. Where's my boobies? There we go. All right, right across. And see here how I can move the measuring tape a little bit? I'm not going like this. I'm keeping it a little bit loose. All right? Yeah, there I am. Mm-hmm, yep. I won't share my number. Not gonna do it. <laughs> so I've got my bus measurement now too. So that's how you do it on yourself. Moving on to the waist. This, very simple, she's got a piece of tape here. We don't have that, but I will show you on her and then on myself. So spin around here, little lady. Down her measuring tape. Come around the natural waist and spin her around. All right, she is a 27 inch waist. All right, 36, 27. Again, not skin tight, a little bit loose so we could, uh, you know, get some clothes on. And it's the natural waist. Now, when you're taking these measurements on yourself, your waist is not where you close your jeans, okay? Like if I had on jeans and I buttoned them, it'd be down here. Now my belly button is up here. That's where your natural waist is. So a good way to find this is to put your hands kind of on your, your hips. My hips are down here, but if you were mad and you went, huh, it would be right around here and your fingers would touch where your belly button is. That's your natural waist. So when you're taking that measurement, I wanna come around, find that, and again, a little bit loose so you're not going like this. You wanna be able to have a little bit of room so you can wear clothes, okay? So there's my waist, okay? So we've got our bust, we've got our waist, now to the hips. Now this chick has no butt at all. She is like the assless wonder. But let's just pretend. I think, <laughs> yeah, right about here. This is where the booty would be. I'll show you on me, because I do have a booty. So we come around to the widest area, all right? That's where her butt is. And then we come across here to her hips. And oh, bam, look at that. It's a 30 seven, so yeah, it's about a 36 and a half. And then what did we have up here? Let's see, yep, we had about, yeah, a little over 36, just about a 37. Let's do her once more down here. Yep, right there, about a 37. She's an hourglass, all right? We got almost a 37 up here, we had a 27, and we got almost a 37 down here. She's an hourglass, gee, I wonder why. She's a dress form, she has the perfect figure, okay? So, if you're taking it on yourself, you really want to find out where the booty is, all right? So let's get back here, <laughs> ignore my microphone, booty. Boom, look at this, look at the difference. Come on now, huge difference. But you wanna find the largest area to get a more accurate hip measurement, all right? 
Now you don't want to go like this, so it's getting up there too high. You want it right across the booty, and boom, okay? Make sure the zero is what you're doing it up against, okay? So, right there, got it along the measuring tape on the largest part, right across my hips here, and boom, all right? Looks like I've got a little bit of extra junk in the trunk. I might, uh, I might be the bigger on the bottom type now. No, but you do, sometimes the measurements won't be exact. Like if you're looking for that proportional figure, it doesn't have to be like 37, 37. It could be very close. You also want to visually take a look at your body to see. My booty goes out, <laughs> okay? My hips are actually very narrow. A lot of it's out in the booty, so I still overall have that hourglass look about me. So just to review, bust, waist, hips. Bust measurement comes square across the back, across the center of the chest to get that measurement. Waist measurement, be pissed. Whole, you know, hands on hips, right where your belly button is, is that natural waist. That's how you get that measurement. And for the hips, look to the back, look, look from the side, and get the widest part, the widest part of your hips. So if it's on you, biggest part of the booty, come straight around and get that measurement there. So that, my friends, is how you take your own measurements and determine your body type so you can dress your very best. So get yourself a measuring tape, get your measurements, and dress accordingly. So I hope that video was helpful. If you want to learn more about dressing for your body type, I literally wrote the book on it and it's literally free. So the link is right below. If you don't have yourself a copy, click on that link and download it. It's full of tips on how to dress for your body, how to determine your body type, and how to look and feel amazing, which is kind of awesome. So give it a read. Let me know what you think in the comments and subscribe because I've got new videos all the darn time and I don't want you to miss a single one.